Hey guys, what's up? Rise Tricks here. Um, like I said, sorry for uh, not posting too many videos this uh, week or whatever. Um, I told you in the previous video that I posted that I wouldn't be posting too many videos this week. That it would probably only be like one and it ended up only being one. So sorry for that. Um, I've just been busy with school and everything. Still haven't gotten everything sorted out, but I've gotten things sorted out a lot more. So I think I'm going to be trying to post a video every week. Uh, every day this week. Um, I'm gonna try see what happens But yeah, I thought I'd post this video. Um, it's uh, Me and I think two other guys in our clan playing league play and capture the flag uh, Crazy Jacob and rise oath crazy Jacob is part of the team, but he hasn't changed his name yet um, I wanted to post this it really wasn't a high KD or really anything like super spectacular, but we ended up like a five and one them and capture the flags. I mean, not five, eight and one. So we got a pretty good lead on them. We've had better ones, but uh, I decided that I was just gonna post it anyways. So yeah, and I want to apologize for it being in theater too, by the way. And yeah, um, so I didn't really know what to talk about today, so I figured I was gonna talk about ghosts because there's been a lot of videos and stuff lately, uh, like releases and stuff like that about ghosts. And I haven't really been watching them very much and stuff like that, but I have seen some of it, so I really wanted to talk about ghosts. So I guess let's get started. Um, really, I guess we'll start with the leaning and sliding thing. I don't really know what to think about the leaning and sliding thing. I could see it making a really big challenge and kind of a problem for like those people who do quick scoping and feeding and stuff. I could see it being a hassle, and but at the same time, I could see it being really cool. I could see some cool stuff happening to it. I could see it being really useful in gun fights and stuff like that. And, um, and I heard from... I'm not trying to be like an Optic Scumpy fan or steal anybody's work, but I watched a video of Optic Scumpy, and it was Nade Shot playing it. Uh, and he talked about how everybody who said that uh, the leaning and sliding was really well. Like, you went up to the wall. It was super easy to use, so... I am a little bit more relieved to hear that. I'm, I think that's going to be really cool, but at the same time, I'm iffy to see what's going to happen with, like, uh, I don't know, like somebody sliding with a shotgun and it being really gay. I don't know. I, I'm just I'm really interested to see what's going to happen with that. And another thing that I am super, super excited about is they, in that video, the same video, Optic Scumpy was saying that everybody was saying that drop shotting is spectacular in this game. Like, if you're a big drop shotter, you are going to love uh, Ghost. It's going to be really good, and you're going to be like a pro in it. And I don't know if you've noticed, but yeah, like right here, basically, I drop shot all the time. So I'm super excited about that. I really want to see what drop shotting is like in it. And, ah, uh, it's going to be awesome. I also am really interested to see how it's going to really pan out the just the game by itself, because it it's kind of taking this battlefield type twist like it's really interesting looking but it's still keeping all that cod that you know basically all the things that make it call of duty so i really want to see what that's going to be like it looks like it's going to be really cool and it looks like i'm really going to like it because i love battlefield and call of duty they're like my favorite so i'm really interested to see how that's going to be like and i don't know if they're doing like in battlefield you can blow up wall and stuff like that. I don't know if they're doing that, but I've seen in a few uh, clips and videos and stuff, somebody shot something, like it was in a gas, next to a gas tank, and the whole freaking like roof fell down and collapsed, so I don't know if there's going to be a lot of like things you can do with the map like that that's really cool, like things you can shoot that'll make it collapse, um, uh, and in one of the videos he takes C4 and puts it on a wall and blows up the wall a little bit. So I don't know if you're going to be able to blow up walls like tremendously or just little spots, but uh, I think it's just going to be little spots. I don't think they're going to make it to where you can blow up buildings. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how that's going to work, though, because that could be pretty well. You can get some a nice little like hiding place by blowing up a little wall, get a head glitch going or something. It's really newbie, but when it comes to competitive gaming, that could you know really help out somebody. But uh. Another thing is they have put in a lot more guns. In the same video, he's, Optic Scumpy says something about some assault rifle that's really low level. That's basically like an ACR. So 
I, I don't know about you, but I really like the ACR and Model for 2 and Model for 3, so that's going to be really sick seeing that back and seeing every other gun that they got. That that was just one out of, like, I don't know. I want to say you said there's, like, over 20 new weapons, something like that. So there's going to be a lot of new weapons. That's going to be really cool to see. Uh, what else is there? there I, there's a bunch of new uh, kill streaks. One is, I, I really want to see what this is going to be like. I don't know if this is going to be difficult to use or not difficult, or if you can use snipers and other guns, but in one of the videos, it shows this guy getting a ride in a helicopter, and he's sniping people. Like, he's in his normal weapon. The helicopter's going really slow. And I was really curious to see if, like, you can use any weapon on that, because that would be really cool. You'd, like, go really low around the map and shoot people in a helicopter. I think that would be really cool and interesting to see how that's going to work out. The UAV thing, I think the UAV now is like on the ground. It's a little like device that you sit on the ground, kind of like an IMS. I don't know if I really like that because it's going to get really easy to get like, uh, what's the word, killed or whatever you want to say, broken. I don't know. So I don't know if I like that. Uh, I don't know if I like the new kill streak called Maniac. It's like you're in a juggernaut suit and you have a knife and you run really fast. I don't know if I'm gonna like that because I think it's a really low kill streak, like 11 or 9 or something, which is super easy to get. And I could just see that being a really pain in the butt, especially if they're bringing back the back the point system. It's not kills; it's how much points you get. So I don't know. That's gonna be. I could see that playing out really bad and really well. I'm. I want to see what's going to happen with that. Uh, really, though, I'm really excited for Ghost. I really want it to get here. Um, not just because I'm bored with Black Ops 2. I've been bored with Black Ops 2 for a really long time. But at the same time, I'm excited because I really think I'm going to like Ghost. It's going to be refreshing. I'm more of an Infinity Ward person anyways. Uh, the mixture of Call of Duty and Battlefield, two games I love. I think it's going to be an awesome game, so I really want to see what it's like. I'm going to try to be posting a ton of videos on it the day it comes out. I'm going to be, I'm going to be trying to get it the day it comes out, but this next year probably, I'm going to be super busy. Like, I have a lot of stuff on my plate, just a lot of stuff I have to do, sports, karate, school, homeschooling, tutoring. I, I have just a lot of stuff on my plate, so... I'm going to still try to get a video every day and still try to, you know, see if we can get our channel grown more for our, my clan stuff. And Jacob should be uh, getting, what's the word, Oath. He should be getting um, a mic soon to do commentaries and stuff. But, uh, whew, I don't know. I'm just really interested to see how Ghost is going to turn out. Oh, man, I'm having a brain fart. Oh, crap. But, um, also, though, this, this was really cool. I don't know how this is going to pan out either. I, I, I was interested when I heard this because I, the reason why I don't post videos, like, half the week is because I have two houses that I go to. One is more in the country, one's kind of more in the city. So the one in the country has really bad internet and, you know, so I can't really post. But I'm going to try to, uh, start doing it. I haven't really tried very much, so I'm going to try to start doing it, along with, you know, the one in the city or whatever. But, um, kind of reminds me of Curious George, if you've ever watched that. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, I have really bad internet at that country one, so I can never really play uh, online. And, you know, it was really annoying. And for a long time, I didn't have another house to go to, to that I could play online. So, like, for... Probably the first three, four years that I had an Xbox, I, oh my god, I lagged 24-7. So, this is going to be really helpful, but I heard there's this new thing in Mono, uh, Ghost, I almost said Mono for 3, in Call of Duty Ghost that, uh, called Squads Mode, that, um, you can, it takes your XP that you earn in the match, and it goes into your multiplayer XP, so that's going to be crazy helpful. And, you can do this offline or with friends, so that means I might be able to rank up in multiplayer offline, which is going to help people who lag a lot. But then, it, but then it kind of takes the challenge out of being the highest rank because I mean it really isn't hard, but a lot more like people who aren't that good are going to be the highest rank now, and it's going to be kind of lame. But at the same time, it's going to be really helpful for people like me who have bad internet. So that, that's going to be really, really helpful. 
uh, and another thing though, in the squads mode, you can play against AIs or real players. And this is crazy though. The AIs in this game are supposed to be super realistic, super like smart, like normal players, and they can do drop shots and jump shots. Now this is crazy. I really want to see what that's going to be like because I can see me getting mad, <laughs> screaming at like an AI right now. I can so see it. This would just be so funny. I really want to see what that's going to be like because I'm going to crack up so much if I get jump shotted by an AI or something crazy like that. But I really want to see what that's going to be like because I think that's just going to be the most coolest thing ever to see how much technology has grown. But um, anyways, uh, I I'm going to try to post more videos. Might be talking about ghosts still in the new videos. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think and thanks for watching.